Daniel, and today I just received our order from Biota, and I'm very excited to be acclimating these fish. Now there's a few things I'm doing and a few reasons why I'm excited about this order, and let me tell you why. Uh, number one, acclimating is very important. Salinity usually varies from system to system, and people have different tools and methods of checking salinity. So I always like to do a drip method when acclimating fish. So this is the HANA salinity tester, and it's pretty awesome. Uh, it comes with calibration fluid, and we've been using them for a while now since they came out, and we're pretty impressed. It saves time, and it's very fast. So we check our systems, um, and it's nice because, like I said, with water and fish being sold, they do change throughout the day, and with temperature, this does correct. So fish come in at all different types of salinities, like I said, depending on the system they're in. So this one was very high, and then this one over here was very low. So it's nice to check, and we just want to make sure that the fish are brought up to correct salinity slowly. So that's one of the things that I'm working on. And the other thing that I want to tell you guys about is the way these fish are raised and taken care of. They're basically raised on frozen food and reef nutrition. These pellets are unbelievably healthy for the fish. They give them great color and a great method um, when you get new fish is keeping them fed on the same type of food that they're fed on already to make sure that they're um, eating for you. So the transitioning fish from one location to another can be very hard. And the fact that these are already used to being fed and around people really makes the success rate a lot higher. So we have some absolutely stunning clownfish today for you guys. And these are all captive bred and fed on the reef nutrition. So I have a couple different pellets here. These are the extra smalls and I'll let Ed show you guys those while I continue to look for cool fish. So, I don't know if you guys can see these on camera, they're pretty small, but these are the Aptasia eating file fish. And they're great for any system if you're having a problem with Aptasia. Uh, it's one of the methods for controlling Aptasia and I can talk about them later on. So, as you can see over here, uh, I was acclimating the yellow tangs and these things are adorable. They're so tiny, but the chances of success with a captive bred tang versus something wild caught that's been shipped around the world um, is completely different. So I hope you guys enjoy that. I'm gonna get back to doing what I'm doing. Um, here's some more cool things. They package them in these safe bags so when they're in the containers, the fish aren't stressed out looking at each other the whole time. So it's really nice that they're blacked out and that's another feature and another great reason to buy from Biota and from us. So we like to supply our customers with sustainable products and sustainable fish just because one, the world is changing very quickly and this is one of the best methods for protecting the reefs and protecting the environment. So thank you guys for watching. As always, happy reefing. Stay tuned for the next one.